Hello, my name is Neaton Van Gerlker. I'm the Chief Technology Strategist for Oracle North America covering government and education. And in this session, I'm going to talk about Oracle strategic data management, specifically data mesh, data pipeline, and a modernized data platform. So data has become the world's new currency. It's the new oil, it's the new gold. Pick your adjective of the day. But the ability to harness data, analyze it, adapt quickly, is the only way organizations can survive, transform, and thrive. Every digital transformation initiative requires access to clean and consistent data. So Gartner Report says, pressure to deliver faster with higher quality and with resiliency is the face of constant change. It's what's causing data and analytics leaders to rethink how their teams are organized and how they work. In this short segment, I'm gonna to touch on the problem statement which is the fact that data producers are far too away and disconnected from their consumers. And many times the data is not in the format that's consumable. And this is quite unfortunate since the business should be proactively managing data as a first class assets of value within the enterprise. Because it is the capital, we need to treat it that way, right? So I'll discuss data mesh and data pipelines as a means to solve this issue. Now, first and foremost, there's tons of challenges and and uh, regarding data and analytics, right? There's siloed data, that's duplicate data, there's dirty data, there's, there's huge amounts of uh, the tooling that's out there. There's temporal data, right? So as data volumes grow, organizations face data challenges that impact their businesses. Like I said, siloed data or inaccessible data, incomplete stale data, and what this means is as data as outdated reports can lead to poor decisions which becomes a barrier to becoming a data-driven organizations. Inaccurate reports using stale data can cause managers to make wrong decisions. This is really, really unfortunate. So we need to, uh, to capture and manage data, all data assets effectively and efficiently to make good business decisions. This really all starts with adopting the FAIR principle. Data should be findable. It should be accessible. It should be interoperable and it should be most importantly reusable, right? Once we produce this data product, many consumers should be able to leverage it. So how do we get to the stage? In order to apply the FAIR principle, we need to have a data-driven organization that needs to uh, leverage and deploy a unified data ecosystem. Some people call it a unified data platform. Uh, we really, really we want to do this to understand and transform and gain value and exploit that value from data, right? So creating this, Strategic data management structure requires that data uh, be understandable, findable, formats which way it's in stored, be able to manage that data. How do we convert and map the data between the source and target systems? We need to exploit data and get more value out of the information. And this requires analytical tool, tools to have the right access to all available data. And this slide here kind of depicts that top-down approach, the seven steps to strategic data management. Right, so data strategy that reinforces competitive strategy is the goal here. And that the heart of this and the core of data management strategy is data mesh. This includes data integration and data pipeline. So what is data mesh? Well, data mesh is, is not a product. It's a way of thinking. It's about making it easier to create higher quality data asset that's readily usable, avoiding the need to use traditional ETL tools or batch processing, which delays the entire process. So what is a data pipeline? Well, data pipeline is the underlying plumbing behind a data mesh. A data pipeline is a way of automated, creating automated workflows that extract uh, data from multiple sources. Again, we go back to that fair principle. You need to have data that's findable and accessible. The key aspects of data pipeline include connect connection, connectivity, elasticity, schema flexibility, support for data mobility, transformation and visualization. So why do we need all this? Well, we need to be able to uh, connect data to broader data ecosystem, regardless of location, and get to data where it can be used. Going back to our FAIR principle, it's gotta be findable, it's gotta be accessible, and it's gotta be interoperable, and it's gotta be reusable, right? We wanna allow organizations to leverage real-time insights provided by incorporating all of, the, all of the data, not just a small subset. So data mesh is no silver bullet. Like I said, it's not even a product. But the principles, the practices, the technologies have been aligned to focus on solving some of the most pressing 
uh, unaddressed data modernization objectives that can help improve the success rate of business transformations. So where does Oracle bring to the table? What does Oracle do? Well, Oracle provides hybrid data management from edge sources to on-premise to any public cloud, shape-shifting data products, which are data products consumption, repurpose the data in the format that's consumable by uh, cons uh, customers. Bridge and bring operational data architectures with analytics data, right? Oracle's data mesh solution emphasizes elements of strong data consistency, which is a trusted data transactions, governance and verifiability, which is data validation, and enterprise scale demands, petas, uh, petabyte scale data movement and mission critical data. So in this converged definition, a trusted data mesh is a data architecture approach focused on outcomes, which are data products, IT agility in multi-cloud world, which is the mesh, and a trusted data of all kinds, what we call polyglot data streams, whether it's IoT, structured, unstructured data, and faster business innovation cycles using event-driven data integration. So Oracle is unique in that we've been managing and supporting operational data for a really, really long time. And we have tooling around the analytic data and we've had, uh, we've been providing a conduit for systems of interchange for a really long time. To get more information on what I've just described here with the data mesh data fabric, please refer to these <clears throat> topics, these uh, key uh, artifacts that we've I've shown on the screen which is a technology brief and a data mesh uh, solutions, use cases, and case studies. With that, happy journey to good data-driven solutions.